some good intro music. Hello, everybody. Welcome to TNC Movie Nights. This week's going to be a little bit different. We've been a little news heavy lately with just keeping up with current events. Understandably so, we couldn't pass up all of those teasers and trailers that came out and all of the huge news in the superhero universe. But this, we're going to take it back to a little bit of our roots. Just messing around talking movies. And in that vein, I thought of something. Don't you hate it when you try to talk about a thing that you like because you like a thing, because you're a person and it's okay to like a thing? And someone goes, oh yeah, well, can you tell me where the lead actor went to high school and who their history teacher was? Because I can, therefore, I'm a bigger fan than you. If you're like that, please stop being like that, because that's like, you're like the worst kind of person to be a fan around. Just like a thing. You can like a thing and not have to know all of the things about it. So in that light, I made a quiz for Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Now, he had oh. no idea what this was. Just two minutes ago now, before we started recording, I told him the topic just to see if this was even something we could do as a show. Uh, as you all know by now, if you've been watching, Brandon's favorite movie of all time is Revenge of the Sith. I know. Um, so I have a bit of a quiz that I made for him about Revenge of the Sith. Now, this isn't some sort of quiz to try to make him look like a fool or anything. These are normal questions that maybe I wouldn't know because I'm not such a fan. I'm a normal Star Wars watcher. I've seen them. I like them. But I wouldn't call myself a diehard. But for someone like Brandon, whose favorite movie is Revenge of the Sith, I mean, I think you got to get at least eight of these, right? I, which is totally fair. It's, it's probably been a good, like, six to eight months since I've watched it. So, I mean, but that's the thing. I've watched it probably a good, like, 50 times, so I, I should be okay. I'm just kind of curious where the questions will kind of come from. Because, you know, we talked before the show. I'm not expecting anything like, what was Anakin's trouser, trouser color during this scene at this timestamp of the movie? Like, it'll be a little bit more of, you know, who was interacting, what was going on. Like, a little, little more, you know, no-duh type of things that you don't have to be, you know, combing over the movie to get. Like I said, yeah. questions that I might not remember the answer to, but I don't think you'll have a problem with most of these. Okay. So let's I'm get excited. Down. These are multiple choice. These are multiple okay. choice. So you don't have to just pull an answer out of your butt here. Okay. I'll give you multiple choice. And you'll see that some are maybe a little bit more obvious than mm -hmm. others. But uh, let's get down now, to it, man. Now, if you could do me actually a favor, state the question. And I'm curious if I'll have an idea what the answer is before you give me okay. the multiple. I, I want to kind of test myself a okay. little bit. Okay. I like that. Okay, I like that. All okay. right, let's see. So, question one. When did Palpatine's face become mangled and wrinkly? When was it? What was happening? Uh, I want to say this is when Mace Windu and him were uh, in the... Uh, like like the window of the... I want to say... Like, I, I try to think what that was. Like the Chancellor's... I don't know, like, oh, it looked like a hotel, practically. That's kind of what I always kind of thought it was. <laughs> uh, so, you know, he was shooting the lightning at Mace Windu's lightsaber, and it was reflecting back at him and uh, turning him very, very old. <laughs> I wish I had a sound effect for you, man. That is the correct answer. The, the choices were A, during his fight with Mace Windu. Okay. B, during his fight with Yoda. C, after Anakin becomes Darth Vader. Or D, after he said, do it, one too many times. <laughs> and, and yeah, you, you described it perfectly. I even had a little note here that his lightning was redirected back at him, and you even covered that. So, Hell yeah. well done, Brandon. You thank are you, thank one you. for one. <laughs> Question two. What is the name of the order that identified Jedi as traitors to be executed? Order 66. <laughs> Man, two for two. Uh. Yeah, he had A, the Jedi order. B, the Clone Order. C, Order 66, a.k.a. Clone Protocol 66. Or D, Jedi. <laughs> I like that one a lot. I like that one. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Question three. Who killed Mace Windu? I mean, well, technically... I want to say the technical is Chancellor Palpatine... Uh, 
because I mean, it, you could kind of be like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, because like he you threw like him off. Choice? Well, no, because it's either Anakin or it's Palpatine. It just comes down to because I mean, yeah, Anakin sliced off his arm. Oh, sliced off. Yeah, and then it, Palpatine though, throws him out the window with the electric lightning. So technically, I would think that he's the one that killed him. Correct. Three for three. Nice. We have A, Anakin, B, Palpatine, C, a clone, or D, that shark in Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> shark. I'd have given you bonus points for that one because it's also true. <laughs> but yeah, you're absolutely right. Anakin cuts off his hand and then Palpatine throws him out the window. Okay, okay. Feeling good. Three Feeling good. Three for three. Not bad. Not bad. Question four. Brandon, who directed this movie? Oof. Would you like the multiple choice? Yeah, it's one of those things that's going to be like, first thought is just George Lucas. Because he was still doing the prequels. But like, I get... That's your final answer. I'll, I'll go and hear the multiple choice. Okay. We have A, J.J. Abrams. B, Steven Spielberg. C, George Lucas. Or D, The Force. <laughs> See, it, it, I, I'm gonna go with George Lucas. It's just one of those things where it's like, <laughs> yeah, I, I always George Lucas. Yeah, because I am not super into like the cinematography world of movies. I'm more into the this is fun uh, side of it. I always like second guess myself when it comes to any sort of directors or anything like that because I'm like, well, technically, did they write it or produce it? And so did someone else direct it? So I just yeah. But George Lucas, cool. <laughs> Question number. Five. How did Padme die? She lost the will to live. <laughs> In the exact words, no less. Yeah, what a dumb, dumb, dumb thing. I mean, we had a Anakin killed her. made up answers make more sense. Yeah, I mean, to me, Anakin yeah. killed her. Like, he choked her to death like that that's in my mind that's what i take it as but i know they're like she lost the will to live okay bite me like no we had kids she had a shit boyfriend and two kids and she was just like i'm out but yeah it was a in childbirth which would have made sense b anakin accidentally force choked her to death which would have made sense c she lost the will to live. Or D, in the ratings. I think all the other ones make a lot more sense. But yes, you are correct. So right now you are five for five. Question six. Who lost their memory at the end of the movie? Uh, CP3 owned. He was uh, memory wiped at the end of the movie. See what? C3PO? Okay, you said CP3O. I was like, I did get the name. I, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Sorry, Simple my slip. bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, it is C3PO. We have C3PO, Yoda, Anakin, aka Darth Vader, or D George Lucas. Apparently. <laughs> oh. uh, bonus points. Who gave the order to wipe C3PO? Uh, I can't think of his actual name, but it's the person who. He he takes care of Leia. He's like the commander. I yes. yeah I never can remember Senator his Organa. name. Thank you, Jesus. Ba ba Thank you. Bail, bail, bail. What's his name? I Bail Organa. I, yes, I, it's B A I L. There, Organa. there's just some characters that like I, I get it. You know, I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm not, you know, the super, super end of it. Like some people might be, kind of like what you were saying in the beginning. I just there's some characters I'm like I, I know they matter. I just kind of toss them aside because, like. Yeah. I care about Kit Fisto more. He's a cool alien dreadlock dude. <laughs> oh, okay. I know that. Yeah, he's my favorite. I didn't at first. Oh, he's my favorite. Okay. This one. Um, this one you might need the, the multiple choice on just because it can be such a long winded answer and it's not super necessary. But. Okay. Question seven. What was the original reason Anakin agreed to join the dark side? Uh, to save Padme. Well, you didn't need that long. All right. <laughs> it, was, it was A, to build his own empire. B, to save Padme from dying. 
C, to overthrow the Jedi Council because they refuse to name him a Jedi Master. Or D, he just really prefers a red lightsaber. Honestly, and, par- part of me kind of wishes they would have taken the route that it was because they didn't let him be a Jedi Knight. Part of me kind of wishes that. like, But I'll be honest, like, the, to save Padme, it does make sense for the emotional side of a person. Like, I mean, a lot of us out there would give anything to save a loved one. So I get it. And I think if you went on the side of like, oh, it's just because of power, well, that kind of loses part of the, you know, like the, the, the greatness of the character. So I, I kind of get it, but I, I would almost kind of like to see that end of it, though. Just like a, a middle finger to the, the Jedi Council, like, okay, you're not going to name me a master? I'm going to just beat you all. Yeah, it's one of those things like, um, you think I'm not strong enough, but now I'm going to come back and literally kill you all. So, I mean, that's kind exactly. that's kind of cool. So Exactly. Bit of a power move there. <laughs> Um, and then another bonus point opportunity here. Um, what happened right before he agreed to join? What was the tipping point? Mm. That's good. So I remember he wanted to go with Mace Windu to go uh, arrest Palpatine, but they thought it wasn't a good idea because... Mace Windu kind of had a feeling that Anakin was turning to the dark side. So I think it was like that last straw of like, they're not giving me this opportunity. Uh, when they, cause when they went there, I mean, he shows up cause he says, you stay here. We will let you on the council. Like that was like his big thing. And then that was kind of his like, why can't I just be here? So again, I think that was, that's one of those other little things. They get a little upset with the poor writing. Go ahead. No, you're saying poor writing. Yeah, I, I sorry, I, I thought you were going to chime in there. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the things, like, little poor writing. It's like, you've been waiting all this time, complaining all this time to be a Jedi Knight, Jedi Master, Jedi, like, all that. And uh, all you have to do is just listen <laughs> one last time. So Sit down and shut up for, like, 20 minutes, and then you're good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll give that one to you, because it was... I was more looking at, like, what made him believe that Padme would die, and that was he had that dream that she oh, okay. died in childbirth. Okay, totally fair. We're still seven for seven. That's good. Question eight. What is the first thing that Anakin says after he officially becomes Darth Vader? And I'm not talking when he's still Ooh. with the sad eyes. I'm talking Ooh. armor, suited, he is Vader. James Earl Jones. I, I want to say it was, uh, like, where is she or... Where is Padme? Something along the lines of something with Padme. You are so close. Let me give you the multiple choice and see what you got. Yeah, yeah. So we have A, Yes Master. B, Where is Obi-Wan? C, No. Or D, Look Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. That's good. That is good. It's got to be the man. It's it's got to be the where's Obi Wan. It, it it's clearly that or yes, Master. I don't think that's where it went right away. I'm gonna go with Obi Wan. I'll lock that one in. I am sorry, Brandon. Damn. This one, this one, I got you a little bit, but okay. You were so close that I yeah. feel compelled to give you. Maybe not no. a point, but some credit. No, okay, okay. The answer is A, yes, Master. And it is because it's after he... Yeah. Um, he a- Palpatine asks if Vader can hear him. And he says, yes, Master, where is Padme? Okay. There's a bit of a pause there. So okay. you were... You that's were fair. Like I, pretty right. I, I literally said, had it, Padme? but I just needed to add the... Okay, that's fine. That's yeah, fair. it was just yeah. the qualifier right before it. So he says, yes, Master. That, that is a fantastic pause. question. Thank you. That was. Thank you. That was really good. Yeah, so he says, yes, Master. There's the pause. And then he says, where's Padme? And then Palpatine tells him that he killed her in his anger. And that's when we get that, no. Because that, it's funny, the no, I thought, this is either going to trip him up or he's going to be like, that's not the answer. Yeah. So, all right. Minus one. That's right. Still got two more. And we set the bar at the beginning at eight. I think you're still good to go. All right, so question nine. What did the Jedi Council ask 
Anakin to do that he said was, quote, not the Jedi way. It's specific. Is... You might need some multiple choice. I, I really want to say it was to possibly kill Palpatine. Or no, I think it was spy on Palpatine. Ooh. Is that your is that your final Ooh. answer? No, no, no. I, I'm I'm or gonna like to I'm I'm gonna need multiple choice there. This this You're is good. Gonna one. Hate this. You're gonna hate They're this. Both there. This is They're how you can tell we've been friends for so long. Because A, kill Palpatine. B spy on Palpatine. C disband the Jedi Council. Or D, finish the story in one movie instead of three. Spy on Palpatine. Ooh, George. Spy on Palpatine. Final answer. Brandon, you are correct. Let's go. <laughs> it was Spy on Palpatine. Okay, okay. So there we go. There's okay. eight, eight of nine. But just for fun, let's get to question 10 here. Now, question 10 is a two parter. Okay? So you got half a point for first part, half a point for the second part. So how many and which limbs did Anakin lose in just episode three? Just Revenge of the Sith. Ooh. I, I want to say three. Do you hear the multiple choice? Three? Okay. And yeah. Which ones were they? Uh, both legs and one of his arms. I want to say. I'm trying to think like when he's laying down. Uh, I want to say it's his right arm because I always remember that one kind of reaching up. So, yeah. Well, well, let me give you the multiple choice. You know, make this decision super easy. <laughs> okay. Is it A, three, both legs and his left arm? B, four both arms both legs c two both of his legs or d four but they were just the limbs on a tree in his backyard so it'll be fine by next spring it's always that fourth it's always that fourth one that gets me uh then I'm gonna... i had fun making it man oh i bet <laughs> uh, i'll go ahead and go with a then the uh the three with uh it two and left a. arm Okay. It is a he lost his right hand, but that yes. was in the second one. Yeah. In the third one, he lost both legs Count and his whole, whole, entire left arm. All right. Well, not bad. Well, Brandon, I am happy to say that you scored nine out of ten, but really, I mean, you pretty much got ten out of ten. You just forgot the like the the two the acknowledgement of a question yeah. being asked before <laughs> the actual the fact that you said where's Padme without any multiple choice <laughs> and those were the exact words that he said right after he said yes master i feel obligated to give you like half a point on that one. Uh, so maybe uh, we go nine and a half <laughs> especially because you got the you got the bonus point from uh what the hell was it oh from the first one when you said exactly how he died before he even gave multiple <laughs> choice. I, i'm fine taking nine but taking a kudos tip of the hat for almost getting time <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that oh, man. That was pretty good. So I'm happy right. to say that you can remain a fan because that's the power that I hold <laughs> as the quiz giver, apparently, because that's how things okay. work now. Perfect. But uh, but yeah, that was fun, man. I'm I'm glad that we did this, and uh, we just I'm gonna give you just a couple minutes to gush now because I know what your favorite movie, and I know that I dog it all the time. But I've said this before, and I'll say it again: I'll never dog a person for liking a thing, no matter how much I'm willing to dog the thing. So let's just hear it, man. Uh, I actually I want to start with I want to hear what you actually enjoy about this movie. I want to hear some good things from you about the movie first. I'm just curious if there are things you're like you know what I'll be honest that's a really cool scene that's maybe something really good there or you know the something I, I'm curious what things that you actually kind of at least appreciate a little bit from this movie. Okay, well, upon my last rewatch, which was at the beginning of quarantine, so it's been a little bit. Uh, but I remember thinking, man, this movie isn't as bad as I remember it being. Up until that Palpatine, Mace Windu sort of fight. Okay. Because up until that, it was like, there were a couple kind of cringy lines and maybe some so-so dialogue or okay. acting. But I was still like, okay, this isn't that bad. Why are people talking on this? Yeah. And then basically as soon as Palpatine went from speaking completely normally to then going, no, I was like, this is, this is garbage. This is horrendous. This is just complete horseshit. Okay. <laughs> so I, no, start, I, I kept watching from that point mm -hmm. and it just got worse. So I'll give the first half of this movie credit. And I will say that 
this movie, especially like the second half of two, first half of three, really hit home the relationship between Obi-Wan and Anakin. You really felt that connection there. And especially like when Anakin kind of saved him a couple of times and just their kind of the witty banter back and forth. Like it very much, it was very clear that it was less of a master apprentice relationship than at this point they were pretty much equals in each other's eyes yeah if anything maybe anakin was a little bit like more talented and he just needed to be a little bit more like technical you know mm -hmm. what i mean just like that yeah. we're a big sports fan so it was like the veteran teaching the rookie and even though the rookie might have a little bit more raw talent just needs a little bit of advice from a vet to become like to, to reach his and... full potential yeah yeah so I feel like this movie, it was really good at continuing that relationship that we saw, especially in the back half of two, and then halfway through three. But it's just the, it's that cringy incel Anakin that I just can't stand. And I know as much as you love the the dialogue of the "you were a brother to me" thing, you and McGregor killed it. But yeah, but but I wish he had just killed it being Anakin <laughs> a little bit sooner could have done without a couple of those scenes and then like just the every conversation that adult anakin and padme had it just seemed like something that you would find on a note in the halls of a middle school where you're just like an adult wrote this and adults are saying this i i don't know man but i digress and like i said i'm gonna give you an opportunity to just gush Okay, and I think that is kind of a big thing where it comes for me, though. Uh, I, I can accept that there are some bad lines from Anakin at the later half of the movie, and this movie doesn't just make it for me because of uh, Anakin. I mean, I'll be honest, like, I, I do enjoy his character for most of it. it. It is Ian McGregor, though, because, I mean, you know, in the back and forth dialogue, some of the lines that he gives, like, you know, uh, the, like, you know, just going through the whole, like, democracy and you're a brother to me, and then, you know, the. It's like, uh, what was Anakin's line? It's like the, you will try. It's like, well, it's lines like that that I'm like, I don't like that line. And I know there's a couple more out there that I'm just like, eh. But a lot of Ian McGregor's stuff, I think that's what really gets me for this movie because Obi-Wan in the first three movies is my favorite character. So kind of just getting more of him and seeing him break down emotionally at times is what I loved so much. I, I can as full well say like, you know, some of the Anakin writing sucks. Uh, that's why I don't like two that much because some of the dialogue with him is it's so whiny and it's also kind of the way he delivers the lines. The like the, the soft, so soft, soft voice. It's like, like why? I, I never understood why they had him deliver the lines like that. You know, I would have like just speak like a normal person, like when he's talking. I mean, even I, even the like in the segment of the the sand is coarse, like the sand is coarse, and I really don't like. It. That's fine, but like, the sand is so coarse, and I really, like that. I don't know, They're, like trying to seduce me, voice. It's like I I don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> so try to seduce me how much he doesn't like going to the beach. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know th there are things I don't like, and I I can understand people's uh, you know flaws with the first three in, in the third movie but there are so many cool things in this movie though like general grievous i get it like an asthmatic robot kind of thing and it is actually kind of explained more in the clone wars like series like it's actually is his so, like the reactor or something is crushed and it is like actually like stabbing it or whatever like so i i get why but they kind of overdo it with him like <laughs> coughing like a robot He's a robot. And that's my thing. They they go overboard with it. You know, if they did something else, just maybe maybe had him like hunch or whatever they want to do on that end of it. But still like the that fight scene is really cool. Like seeing Obi Wan take down a four armed like like, you know, Sith master. You know, it's just so freaking awesome. And then even just like that weird chase, I thought that was really cool too. They they tried some different things in the uh, Revenge of the Sith that actually kind of worked for me, but yeah, like the dialogue, it, it can be pretty weak. It really can be, and I guess I always just focus on Ian McGregor's, uh, Ian, 
Ewan, I can never say his name properly. Ewan McGregor. Thank you. Uh, his dialogue is like, yes, that's a that's perfect. That's what we needed. And then some of it is just really crushed away by um, by Anakin's dialogue there. So, okay. All in all, I mean, I again, I really do enjoy the movie because I think it has some of the best lightsaber duels in it. And growing up, I mean, you know, I was That's true. this movie came out what two thousand six ish, two thousand eight, somewhere in there. Is it really? No, it wasn't that late, was it? Yeah, if you want to go and double check for me, I really want to say it was six or eight. I feel like it's eight because I know the let me get two thousand two thousand four real quick. It was two thousand five. It was five. Okay, wow, it wasn't she sooner than that? Um, so, you know, 2005, you know, I was nine years old when this came out. So, like, to me, a nine-year-old kid, I'm like, oh, lightsabers, this is cool. I've seen all those awesome fights. Like, that's what kind of did it for me. And, you know, being a kid when I was watching all these movies, four, five, and six are really good movies. They're much better quality movies at times. But the lightsaber battles were always kind of weak, and I get it because CGI just can't do that. Uh, I, I would recommend anyone out there to go watch... Um, a new hope scene 38 reimagined and uh, it's one of the coolest things i've ever watched it's someone took the time did the cgi did the acting and then even uh cgi'd uh i i don't know his actual name for the actor but obi-wan like the old obi-wan's face onto the person playing obi-wan and it's remarkable oh, yeah. i forgot i think you showed me that i, I think i, I have yeah yeah like and while we're making recommendations yeah i highly recommend people go see rob paulson and seth green reading the um anakin and obi-wan conversation yes together because <laughs> chris griffin anakin is amazing it's Perfect. hilarious to watch oh yeah rob paulson man voice acting god and then having him on his show that was hilarious so go watch both of those things right after you watch this yes please do you'll get a new appreciation for this yeah so i mean again i just as a nine-year-old kid and a lot of movies and stuff for some people is nostalgia you know you go back and watch like you know this is good but not as good as i remember and i'll be honest, i still watch this movie like two three times a year at least uh, sometimes more depending if star wars movies are coming out and i'll just never I'll never forget seeing a character like Anakin, you know, being a five, four, five, six year old kid being like, oh, a movie's about a little kid and it's like a serious movie. That's awesome. And then watching him like grow up over the years and being like, just having that attachment to be like, I can be like that. I can be a cool Jedi. And then seeing him turn to the dark side and seeing him lose himself. It, it was so cool. And I, I know they could have done it better at points. You know, they, they could have made him a little less whiny, oh, angsty oh, teen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. Uh, you know, they could have made him a little less angsty teen, which I, I kind of get it, though, because, you know, again, he's supposed to be like 18-ish around these movies. And, yeah, late high school, we are kind of whiny babies at times. So a bit of it is cringy, but at the same time, it, it is kind of realistic in some senses to yeah. I, I mean again like i'm just thinking of that really yeah, angsty it. like um Late so teens, very yeah. early 20s yeah <laughs> the world sucks everything hates me everything is against me yeah like that you know again i so some of it is rough and i can be honest with that like i it's not a perfect movie but it, it is my favorite and because i know the flaws and i can oh, really? see the flaws so yeah this was uh this was honestly a great quiz this was fantastic. <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I'm Thank gonna, you. I'm gonna have to, and, and I know, like for you, you did it on the side of like, you know, it was a movie you didn't care for, and to kind of play with it and kind of see how you, you know, felt more in depth with it at times. I'm gonna have to get at least one or two of yours and uh, kind of break down a quiz as well, which I know, <laughs> I want to say one or two of yours I haven't even seen or I haven't seen them in a long time. So I think it was Shawshank, right? You haven't seen Shawshank in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen if that since all. I was probably like ten years old, at least. Yeah. That is my favorite movie. Yeah. And I've probably seen that one. Jesus. I mean, legitimately maybe like 50 times, 40, 50 times. Yeah. I just love that movie so much. Man. Yeah, totally fair. I'll, I'll have to sit down and go back, rewatch it, and then kind of do a little breakdown and get a quiz for you. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I did not watch the movie before I made this quiz. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. 
No, no, no. I just looked up like trivia. I went on the IMDb page mm-hmm. and looked at like the trivia for it. Um, I sort of like I looked at a bunch of other quizzes that were about the movie, and then I didn't just like cherry pick questions or anything mm-hmm. like that because it's just lazy. But I was like, okay, this one's talking about like the Palpatine Mace Windu incident, so let's do that. And then there were some like um the trivia thing was about was that order 66 yeah like, whatever it's called yeah so i i didn't watch the movie i just looked up trivia for it no <laughs> and then it was... formed the questions to sort of fit the trivia because i didn't want this to be that like that kid was like well tell me what his nephew's godson's third favorite robot is yeah i, I was waiting for questions yeah. like you know uh for the Jedi Council, like, in which order are the characters sitting in the Jedi Council, Council and stuff like that? I was like, ooh, this is going to be tough. So, yeah, no, it, yeah, it definitely no, wasn't I'm that extreme. Ahead, so, yeah. Uh, but no, all in all, a lot of fun. I don't expect Alex's anytime soon. We won't want to kind of space these out to have a little fun with it. And, you know, so as we mentioned before, we don't want you all to you know, be like, oh, this is this is the time of a show, quiz show now. So we'll, we'll space these out and everything like that. So, yeah, definitely excited. Right, we're just... We're just two dudes that like movies and like talking about movies, and we mm. can go as broad or as specific as it was. You know, we started with a list, but we're not a list show. We've been a little news heavy lately, but we're not a news show. We got quizzes, but we're not a quiz. If you're trying to like figure out what this is, it's just two guys that like movies. Yeah. Just a couple of buddies talking some film. Yeah, and it's always one of those things, you know. Let us know in the comments, tweet at us, you know, message us on Facebook, uh, what you thought about the show. And hey, if you have a show idea, you're like, you know what? I would love to hear them talk about uh, different lighting in movies. Maybe something we don't know. Maybe we have to go research and go watch some YouTube videos on, go watch maybe a documentary or something like that. You know, we can do something like that too. If you, if you have a list for us, you know, we're fine doing lists. As we mentioned, you know, we'll, we'll happily yeah. do anything in that. Uh, was that first that episode. Idea. Yeah. So we're always we just open. Like doing this. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're very fun, open to topics. So we just so. like doing it. Yeah, anywhere from topics, even reviews. You know, we have review shows. Our next one, which this should be coming out, this will be coming out Wednesday for us, and then the review episode will be coming out on Saturday, and that'll be of Bill and Ted, the new Bill and Ted movie. I am so so excited. I was a big fan growing up of Bill and Ted, and Ken Reeves is just Ken Reeves. So can I go wrong with that? It's gonna be a good time. Um. Alex, I actually I watched the uh, the first Bill and Ted yesterday. Nice. And then I think we're gonna watch the second one, um, maybe early tomorrow, just okay. to sort of refresh. And then we're gonna watch the new one for the show. That's awesome. I'm pumped, man. It's it's all Bill and Ted through and through, man. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, Alex, where can the people find us? Brandon, the people can find us wherever the people are looking for us because we will be there on the Facebook on the Twitter, on the Instagram, on the TikTok, I think is still a thing, right? Yes. We are on the TikTok still. <laughs> we are still on the Google, believe it or not, because everyone's on the Google. Uh, we can, you can find us on Spreadshirt to rock some merch, as always, rocking the head. I actually, funny story about the merch, my mom ordered a bunch of merch, and one of them was a TNC penguin shirt that just wasn't fitting right. So she was like, here, have it. So I have even some of the TNC yes. penguin merch. Yes. Grab some penguin merch. <laughs> grab some otter merch. Grab some TNC merch. Grab some movie nights merch. Anything. Something. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, seriously, look for us. We're on all streaming platforms for if you just listen to us, Spotify, Apple Podcast. As I said before, Anchor has hooked us up. If you're watching us, if you're seeing our beautiful faces, <laughs> we're on the YouTube. We share them on Facebook. We're not that hard to find. Yeah, and uh, we also have our website, nerdchambers.com. We do have a little bit of a facelift coming. We're uh, going to be putting a lot of time to get everything looking a little better, a little easier to navigate, and just, you know, a little, little more fun to scroll through and you know go through everything on the website a little uh you know meet the team and content creators shows all that good stuff so yeah it's gonna be very exciting yeah, and and with new movies coming out uh bringing back the fury film review self plug Ooh, hell yeah so we'll be adding more to that so check that out if you're looking for a little bit more into maybe movies that we don't get to review or all that sort of stuff basically every new movie that i go to the movies to see i throw on the list but that's about it man 
Anything else you'd like to say before we send them away? Please go watch those Star Wars things we brought up. <laughs> <laughs> Your new empire. <laughs> I love that. You will try. This is so great. Anyway, go check those out after watching this. I'm Alex. He's Brandon. See you guys later.